Testing. Testing. <laughs> I'm frightened and want to find myself right here. I'm frightened and wanted to find myself here rather than there. For there is no reason why I should be here rather than there. Now rather than then. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, that was then removed by Instagram. Nice. So um yeah. This is why you said to me that you were you were like uh, gonna get in trouble on the show, baby. Because you uh, do you often have uh social media opinions that are getting clicked by the old old watchers there? Well, I'm I'm all about transgression. Yeah. <laughs> uh I believe art needs to be transgressive. And and um so and it I think it has to really like stir things up or really go there where like it's it's kind of contested or like you yeah. know there's there's a, a wound there sure and to 20 make people, people are mad but 20 people like it yes and the, you know to make people a little uncomfortable and also maybe make yourself uncomfortable with it uh, in order to yeah in order to you know make change happen and like a lot of art that is happening right now is you know social justice realism it's affirmative yes a lot of affirmative art going on yes and i i hate it it's that's the opposite of transgressive that's for sure yeah yeah i i also see that trend and also i'm not excited yeah you know I, I feel like your work though i feel like your work could be collected by um a forever dissenter like myself you know just dissenting for no reason rebel without a clue <laughs> but um <laughs> I also think that like there could be some people in the government, some some rich people would also collect this. Some Illuminati guy <laughs> also might want the <laughs> painting, you know? Yeah. I it's so funny because like I um my partner lived in Jackson, Wyoming for some time. Jackson Hole. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was living there that, too. Yeah. And um so you know, Dick Cheney lives there. <laughs> And then I had a residency there, and I was, like, making paintings of Dick Cheney. There's a shiny old face from the past. Well, <laughs> he's still around. Yeah, he is. His daughter is still around. Intelligent. She might run for president. Oops. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did I just spill that? Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I was, like, working on, like, those waterboarding paintings. and, um, and the Awesome, Dick by the way. Yes. I love waterboarding um, and the whole Gu Guantanamo thing. I tried to get my friends during that time to start a waterboarding club with me, yeah. uh, similar to, like, a fight club where we would waterboard each other. <laughs> right, so nobody did it, so I put up flyers in Bushwick. <laughs> that was pretty performative. I knew nobody was going to answer that. Yeah. But I put them up anyway. And I tell you, just one person. I mean, I knew how to do. I know how to do it. It's not that complicated. <laughs> this one person would have answered, and there would have been a waterboarding club in Bushwick, <laughs> 2014 or something. 